everyone, let's take a look at our next multiple answer question. So here we have that a filibuster is an action such as a prolonged speech or raising an objection that is used to delay the debate of a bill in the Senate. The number of filibusters are shown in the table for various years. Okay, so here we go. Let f of t, there's some symbols, be the number of filibusters in the year that is t years since 1950. So here's our base year. We want to, I'm going to actually highlight that. We want to keep track of that. All right. And then the first thing it asks is, can you find a quadratic model? So we'll go ahead and do that. But what I want to be clear about is since we have this base year of 1950 here, you got to be real careful on how you enter your data into L1. The most common error is that students will just put the years into L1 and what they're not doing is actually finding the T value. And how you would find your T value, let's say we want to do it for 1962, you always take the year you're interested in and subtract your base year from it. And in that case it was 12, so I'm going to put, let me clear some of this out so it's not too junked up, and I'll make a new column just for T here. So this first T value would be 12. Right, and then I could do it if I needed. I'll try and erase this carefully for 1972. If you subtract 19, or 1950 from 1972, you're going to get 22 years. So this would be 22 here. And then you can play this out. It's 32 years since 1950. If it's the year 1992, you're 42 years since it's been the year 1950, so on and so forth. So I can put these data values into L1. I'll put my uh, number of filibusters into L2, and then the directions here say find a quadratic model, and I just have to see which of these is correct. And just looking at the options, I can rule out this answer and this answer just on site. The reason being this is a linear model, and that's not what we were asked to find, and this is an exponential model, and that's also not what we were asked to find. These two functions or at least quadratics, and I'll, I'll decide between the two of those which is the correct one. So I'm going to head over to the calculator app, which is a little bit different than the, phys uh, the physical calculator, but of course I want to enter my data into L1 and L2, and I intentionally mistakenly put the year here. Because again, I want to stress this is the most common error I see. I need to, instead of writing the year, I need to write the T values. So I'm going to go up into the definition of L1. You can see L1 right there has the highlight in the back versus this is the first cell in L1. So I'm going to define L1 to be L1 minus my base year of 1950. And in a moment, I'm going to hit the enter key and you're going to see L1 auto populate with all those T values. So that's another way to do it. And if we take a look, I'm just going to make my stat plot right now. It looks like I do have a scatter plot on L1 against L2. Um, in, in the app, you hit the graph button. If you were on the physical calculator, you'd hit zoom 9 right about now. So I'm going to hit graph, but I am going to hit zoom stat. And I can see, you know what, actually, let me back. Oh, actually, I can see, like, there's my data values. I see this green function in here. I have a feeling that's from a leftover problem. Let me go back into my y equals. Yeah, I, I kept that from a previous problem. All right, so there I can see my graph, and you can see the data values as we move along here. They are curving slightly upward, so I can see why we were instructed to get a quadratic model. I could also see the argument for a linear model too, but the direction said quadratic. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to hit stat. We're going to go to calc. On the physical calculator, it's option five in the app, it's option six, but it's still the same commands, L1, L2, and I'll drop this into Y1. All right, and let's go ahead and hit enter. And there are my numbers. So if I look at it, my A value is 0.024, B is 0.274, and C is 0.354. So let me go ahead and head back to here. So I will write this down. We had, oops, let me get my pen up. So we had our A value was 0.024, our B value was 0.274, and our C value was 0.354. So if I wanted to make a quadratic equation out of that, I would say f of t is 0.024 t squared plus 0.274 t plus my y-intercept basically of 0.354, and there it is. So that would be the correct option there. All right, so the next part says find f of 68. So I'm putting 68 into my function. Now keep in mind, this is a t value. So let me put, this was t equaling 68. So if we wanted to figure out what year it would be, if our t value is 1968, then take 68 and add your base year 
of 1950 to it, and you would get that the year was actually 2018. Let me put that to the year here. All right, so that means in 2018, we're basically gonna predict the number of filibusters for the year 2018. So let's go ahead and do F of 68. It's gonna be 0 0.024 times 68 squared plus 0.274 times 68 plus 0.354. Now I could crunch this um, number on my calculator. That would be fine. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna show you two ways to do this in your calculator. Let me do it on this screen. So this was our 0 0.024 times we had 68 squared. And then we would add to it 0.274 times 68. And then we would add to that 0.354. And I get about 129.962. So let me take note of that. Let me just write that down here. So we would have had 129.962 filibusters. But let me show you another option that you have in your calculator. And this is slightly different on the app than it is on the physical calculator. So uh, if you look over to the bottom right, the very far right corner is the word done. And just to the left of that is the calc menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, ooh, why aren't they letting me do what I want? Oh, because I need to, you know what? I need to highlight this and then hit the calc menu. There we go. All right, I'm, I'm not perfect on this app, um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna calculate this value. I'm gonna hit 68 in here and let's see what it gives me. It gives me a slightly higher number. You can see it at 131.303. And let me just take note of that on my paper. So on the calculator graph screen, it was 131.303 filibusters. So you can see, there's a slight discrepancy if we want to compare, right, because here was the calculator's version, right, and this was us just plugging into the model. And why is there that discrepancy? Well, it's because in our model from part A, we only went to three decimal places, and this calculator answer, it has all of the decimal places saved. So it's actually a little bit more precise. But if I look at the options, even if you had this 131, you can see the 129 is the closer answer to it. So I would rule out at this point, this option and this option. I'm on board with the 129.962, but I'm not on board with the year down here. So this one says 1968, that's no good. This is my correct answer. All right, so if we look at C, it says find T when, or find the T value when F of T is 68. So we now wanna find out when we had 68 filibusters, right? Because if we're if 68 is in, on this side, this is the number of filibusters. And so let's just take a look at what we have. Just looking at my Y values that was given, 68 is somewhere in between here, right? So I, and I think since 68 is closer to 71, I think the year that we're gonna get is gonna be closer to 2002 than it is to 1992. But that would be a, a decent guess that it's somewhere in between 1992 and 2002. And if I look at my answers, right, I just off, just guessing, I don't think it's gonna be this one because 1995 is closer to 1992 than it is to 2002. So my my guess is I think it'll be this one or this one. So I really need to decide is it 47.688 or is it 48.879. But let's go ahead and set our function to 68. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 0.024, I'm gonna take my model 0.024, oops, I need that O in there, or zero, 0 0.024 T squared plus 0.274 T plus 0.354, and I'm gonna set that equal to 68. Now, this is a quadratic function, so I could use the quadratic formula, I could try and factor, I could try and complete the square. I'm absolutely gonna use the quadratic formula here. So I'm gonna set this to zero. All right, so we're gonna have 0.024t squared plus 0.274t, and when I subtract those numbers, what would that leave me with? Um, that would be minus 67.646. All right, there's my quadratic equation. So my A value will be 0 0.024, my B value will be 0 0.274, and C would be negative 67.646. All right, so in this case, we would get that T was equal to negative, and I'm just using the quadratic formula, negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four, times A times C. And 
that's going to be all over 2a. Now, I'm going to tell you, I pre-worked this out on my calculator just for time's sake, and the two t values you get are going to be 47.688 or negative 59.105. All right, and we're gonna rule out the negative answer because we're not gonna talk about data before we, or time values before we started clocking our data. So there's my T value at 47.688, and it's going to be around the year 1998. And let's just check out why. Why is it around 1998? Well, if this is my T value, right, take your base year of 1950 and add to it 47.688. Right? It's approximately 1998 when you crunch that number, which is leading us to this for our final answer. All right, so that's how we can get through quadratic modeling over in multiple answer number six. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.